I've been told my whole life, and I can tell you being told is a blessing and a curse. Anytime you walk anywhere, most of the time you're the first people to look at, look at because they just notice you as a big presence walking inside the door, walking inside the store, walking down the street. People just notice you. So that's a gift because you're always going to be noticed and you stand out in important places. But also, the downside of being told is anytime you're walking anywhere, people always notice you. So whether you're in the supermarket or you're walking down the street, people just staring at you like, how tall are you? What's the air like up there? Can you fit in your bed? Or you have to play basketball? No one has to play basketball. It's just that people prefer tall people to not waste their height, what they would call, and play a sport. I mean, I've been tall since I was forever. I was in, I was five, four, at 10. I was six, six at 13, and I only grew a little bit more since then. So I've been tall my whole life. But luckily I chose basketball, which is a tall people sport. But a lot of tall people don't play sports. That's just how it is. Everyone's not meant to play sports. I remember one of my college coaches used to say, they don't make it, that's for people six, six and up. I understand what he was saying. Like, you know, people six, six and over shouldn't be sitting behind a desk if they have the talent to play a professional sport. You could play a professional sport for a short window of your life. You could always sit behind a desk. But most tall people know they're tall and they don't like to hear that. Hey, wow, you're tall all the time. Oh, wow, what is the air like up there? We can't go around asking short people like, how tall are you? Or what is it like to be that short? Uh, how do you see certain stuff? Because that would be rude. 